Cleaning the kitchen is quite normal, but after cleaning, I often find it very hard to leave. Why? Because I can't stop checking to make sure everything's closed and off. I will continuously push the refrigerator door as if it wasn't closed before. I'll even stare at the oven's on-off button as if the red on light will somehow flicker on. I'll stare aimlessly, waiting as if the stove will turn on, as if it has a mind of its own. People often do this every day, contemplating things they simply can't control. But if they don't, no one else will. Lots of people go through similar behavioral patterns, but because we feel we have to. But why? Is it because we're afraid to let ourselves down or endanger the lives of our loved ones? Do we simply fear the worst when it comes to our safety? Do we feel as if a simple mistake could be the cause of a fatal accident? We often find ourselves with these uncontrollable thoughts, constantly. But what is it exactly, this constant questioning and contemplation? It's OCD, a common chronic and long-lasting disorder in which a person has uncontrollable reoccurring thoughts, a common disorder affecting adults, adolescents, and children all over the world. When facing OCD, we often find ourselves with these constant obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are repeated thoughts, urges, or mental images that can cause anxiety. Compulsions are repetitive behaviors that a person with OCD feels the urge to do in response to an obsessive thought. These obsessions and compulsions constantly take over our brains. But what makes these OCD cases so interesting is that these compulsions are taking over a person's life and negatively affecting them. People often associate OCD with the need to be clean, constantly washing their hands, or putting on hand sanitizer, but it's far more than that. OCD can mean a number of things, and this strongly depends on the severity of the case and the person themselves. So while one person may suffer from the need to be clean, another person may suffer from the need to be organized. Going through life, we often find ourselves or others around us constantly checking something or making sure everything's put in order. Like your mom making PB&Js on a warm spring day for a picnic in the park and remembering to bring the cheeses. And, remember, and remembering to clean, check the whole house to make sure everything's off before you leave. But that doesn't necessarily mean she has OCD. In a scenario like this, we may just see the mother as someone who's responsible and looking after their family. But what does it truly take for a person to be diagnosed with OCD? What line must they cross to be considered to have this debilitating mental illness? OCD is on a spectrum, meaning every person has a different level of severity when it comes to it, making everyone's experience with OCD slightly different. But as an overall rule of thumb, when these compulsions and obsessions are negatively affecting your life is when you can be considered to have OCD. Every person may have different symptoms or signs when it comes to OCD because everyone is different in their way of thinking. Some common signs and symptoms of OCD obsessions involving OCD include fear of germs or contamination, unwanted, forbidden, or taboo thoughts involving sex, religion, or harm, aggressive thoughts towards others or self, or having things symmetrical or in perfect order. Some common signs and symptoms of compulsions include excessive cleaning and or hand washing, ordering and arranging things in a particular way, compulsive counting, or repeatedly checking on things. Say you and your family have a monthly trip to Disneyland and you're used to constantly packing and continuously checking to ensure your home is safe before you leave for a week. This repeated behavior can cause us as humans to unknowingly continue it every day, even if it's related to the simplest of tasks later on negatively affecting our lives. This is especially true in severe cases or if the person has a difficult or strange childhood. Say you got home from school every day and were constantly getting yelled at for not having better grades. You may feel so frustrated with your family or yourself, you feel the only way to compose yourself is by washing your hands using only warm water and soap to figuratively wash your problems away. Or say your dad continuously leaves the stove on and you know, if you don't double check him, all your lives could be in jeopardy. Imaging studies have shown that patients with OCD show differences in the frontal cortex and subcortical structures of the brain in patients with OCD. There appears to be a connection between the OCD symptoms and abnormalities in certain areas of the brain, but that connection isn't clear. A brain study by Luke Norman found that in OCD, the brain responds too much to errors and too little to stop signals, which are abnormalities that researchers have suggested to play a crucial role in OCD. An example could be something as simple as checking outlets in your home. We could have spent those 20 minutes checking outlets to make a meal or clean or do homework. Because OCD is on a spectrum, only people with the most debilitating cases are typically diagnosed. When it comes to treatment, OCD is typically treated with medication, psychotherapy, or a combination of the two. And although most patients with OCD respond to treatment, some patients continue to experience those symptoms. As people go through life, they may notice that little crack in the wall, 
or that refrigerator door that refuses to close one time or another. There's bound to be something we've come across that we wanted to be perfect, that science project that we just needed to get a good grade on. We might find ourselves trying to control the uncontrollable to make ourselves feel better, but no matter what we do, we can only hope for that glue on our science pro project to dry. And as much as we'd like to think, our amazing willpower isn't enough to change that. And that may rub some of us the wrong way, not being able to control something we desperately want to. But hey, everyone's a little OCD.